love our new cabin in the woods. Don't you, Choco? Roar! 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 Shh! I think there's a bear out there in the deep, dark forest. Hmm. Hmm? Phew! Coast is clear. You're the only bear I want to see in here. <gasps> Hurry, Choco! Whoops! I'll fix that later. Looks like we're needed in Rainbow Village. Uh. <laughs> Ready, Choco? Rainbow Village, here we come! Oh, Rainbow Ruby. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> How can I help, Mayor Ling Ling? Oh, my, oh, my. It seems Gina's had a bit of an accident huh? last night. Accident? Are you okay, Gina? I'm fine, but Felicia's fairy house isn't. It's a disaster. This sounds serious. If you show me what happened, I'll see how I can help. Ah, what happened to Felicia's house? The rainbow fog was so thick last night when I was flying over the forest, I could barely see past my sail. Next thing I know, boom! Oh, I'm glad Felicia wasn't home and nobody got hurt. But she's going to be back any minute, and she's going to be so mad. makes mistakes. You just need to apologize. Mm -hmm. Besides, Felicia might not be as upset as you think. Ah! <gasps> My house! Uh, uh, it's ruined! Felicia, I'm really sorry. What am I supposed to do without my house? My wings need to stay dry. I can't fly if they get wet. And how am I ever going to stay warm? Fairies get mm. cold easily, you know. And where will I sleep? And, and... Oh! This is the worst day ever! Don't worry, Felicia. I'm sure I can figure something out. Hmm. In order to help Felicia, I need to be a good listener so I can understand what kind of house she wants. And I'll use my imagination to create it. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller. Architects design buildings and make sure they get made according to their plans. I'm going to design a new house for Felicia. I'll use this big roll of paper to draw a plan for Felicia's new house. This ruler and compass will help me measure and draw straight and curved lines. This special table is big enough for me to draw on my big paper. And my hard hat will keep my head safe when I'm on the construction site. Yeah! Thanks, Rainbow Ruby. But how can there be a construction site if we don't have any construction workers to build my house? <gasps> huh? Good idea, Choco. I bet Thunderbell and Mr. Sloth would love to build <laughs> Felicia's new house. They're over in Mr. Sloth's tree. I'll go get them. <laughs> the first step is to draw a picture of the kind of house you want, Felicia. <gasps> Since you are designing a new house, do you think you could make it bigger? And with a wide front door, so I don't have to fold up my wings every time I come in and out? You got it. <laughs> this drawing will be a plan to show construction workers how to build it just right. Hmm. Hmm? There! 
What do you think of this? Whoops! You're a choco roll. It's like a map of your house, looking down at the inside. See? Here's your bigger living room. And this is your bigger bedroom. And oh. here's your wide front door, just like you wanted. Oh, thank you, Rainbow Ruby. I can't wait to have my house back. Yeah. Then let's get started. You know it would make it perfect. A special room for practicing my magic. Ah! And can we make it purple? I've always wanted a purple house. <gasps> oh. huh. You got it, Felicia. This is going to be a house fit for a fairy. Oh! <laughs> You know, seeing this makes me start to think of all kinds of new house ideas. I'd love a castle house with a golden balcony. That would be really nice. And how about a windmill like Ellie's? And oh, a clock, like the one in Town Square. Clocks are good, and a door shaped like fairy wings. That's not a problem, is it? You got it. Fog. Mm. Oh. 
Alicia, I'm so sorry. It was me who crashed into your house and made it fall. Oh, I know that. I ran into Ling Ling on the way here and he told me everything. And you're not mad? How can I be mad? I have an amazing new house built by my amazing friends. I'm the luckiest fairy in the whole world. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Ruby, you really saved the day. You came along and helped us in your very special oh, way. Yeah. Whenever there's a problem, we can count on you. You're a super friend and a super helper, too. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. Just like new. Plus, Mom found us another old box. So the best part is... There's room for all of us! <laughs> I have plenty of fruit left over. What should we do with it? Hmm, how about juggling? in my room. Okay, sweetie. <gasps> uh. Hurry, Choco. Looks like they need our help in Rainbow Village. <laughs> Ready, Choco? here. We have a problem with... My sorbet machine! Sorbet machine? <sighs> I brought it back from my latest adventure to make rainbow sorbet for everyone in Rainbow Village. Yum! I love sorbet. Uh -huh. It's like ice cream but made with real fruit. Yellow is bananas, green is grapes, blue is blueberries. And red, strawberries? Yes, but that's the problem. Huh? It's not just strawberries in there, so I can't make the strawberry sorbet. Oh my, oh my. Somehow all of the mm. strawberry decorations wound up in the container. Hmm, I wonder how that happened. Mix all the reds! <laughs> Long. I promise sorbet to everyone soon. Mix all the reds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Mr. Lulu. I know you need the handle back. I'm working on it. <laughs> I lost my machine handle, so I had to borrow one from Mr. Lulu. Oh, Rainbow Ruby, I need help fast! Hmm. To help Gina make her sorbet quickly, I'll have to be clever and careful. I need to find a way to separate the strawberries from all the other red objects that don't belong in her sorbet. Luckily, I have some helpful things in my rainbow roller! Help by being a saint. 
scientist. I'll do experiments to find the fastest way to separate all the strawberries from the other red things in the container. My lab coat and goggles will protect my eyes and clothes. My science kit has everything I might need for a science experiment. And this clipboard will help me keep track of the experiment results. Yeah! <laughs> the Rainbow Village Restaurant Kitchen can be our science lab. Now let's do some science. <laughs> <laughs> We need to separate all these things from the strawberries. Small berries, metal strawberry decorations, and red marbles. Let's experiment to find the fastest way to do it. Hmm? Choco, no! <gasps> that small berry's a chortle berry. Eat one and you laugh for an hour. Well, hello, Rainbow Ruby. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. Jessie said you were here, so I thought I'd pop in and say hello. Gina, I'm really looking forward to the sorbet you promised. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be uh, delicious! Strawberries are much smaller than the strawberries. See? They go through the cup handle, but the strawberries are too big. Hmm. How can we separate lots of them fast? Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm. Hey! This net might be just the thing to keep the strawberries in and the chortleberries out. Yeah! <laughs> Chortleberries separated. One down, two to go. The real strawberries and the decorations are the same size. How can we separate them? Seems like it's made of metal. Maybe a magnet could be useful. A magnet attracts things made of metal. <laughs> See? The real strawberries aren't metal, so the magnet doesn't stick. Neither do the marbles. They're made of glass. Now let's see if the magnet attracts the strawberry decorations. <gasps> Rockin' rainbows! It worked! We should probably give these decorations back to Ling Ling. He'll want to put them up in time for your sorbet party. <laughs> Here, Ling Ling. These are all the decorations you were missing. Thank you, Rainbow Ruby. We'll hang them up. Everyone's awfully excited for Gina's sorbet. <laughs> Disappoint everyone? Not if I can help. Back to the lab! Strawberries and red marbles. Same size, so the net won't work. And neither are made of metal, so the magnet won't work. Doomed. We're doomed! <laughs> Don't worry, Gina. We'll figure it out. Let's see. The marble feels heavier than the strawberry. I wonder. Strawberries float and the marbles sink. I think I know how we can separate the marbles from the strawberries.
Lulu. Come on. 